So why Finnish startup group, uh, startup ecosystem is boosting? Yeah. Well, several reasons. Um, first thing is that we've been having this constant effort by the Finnish government, obviously, to support the innovation ecosystem. So it's really important in a nutshell. But I think the foundation was really created during the 90s or even before that when the kind of a industry around the telecom um, sector was created and, and the, those big companies and corporations, both operators and of course Nokia, created an ecosystem around them. And that expertise I think is a something that we see currently evolving around both the gaming industry but also other startups. So Nokia has put down uh, certain activities in Finland, released good, capable, well-educated people and they need to do something. The fact is that there really aren't too many corporations who would be able to employ uh, all this uh, workforce that we have available. So that's a hardcore fact. So it's also almost funny to see how this gold dust that that's springs out of the startups and how they're discussed in the media and how the success of these individual companies has created huge pull and everyone wants to get a piece of the, the, the dust that flies off uh, means also better policies in the future. Like internally in Finland people have been talking a lot about that is there you know too much of a hype going on and uh, is, is this kind of a temporary bubble that will burst and suddenly no one will be interested in startups anymore? I mean, it would be wrong to think that government or any individual could make a decision that this product, this business or that will be success and that will fail. That kind of a policy is uh, from the history and it has not worked in Finland in the past, it has not worked elsewhere in the past, normally ended to the failure. I remember when we visited uh, Israel for the first time in uh, um, 2010 uh, for one of the largest technology conferences there. And I forever remember that the Prime Minister of Israel you know, gave a big speech at the conference to all the in investors coming there, kind of selling Israel to investors why you should invest in Israel. And I remember thinking that this would never be possible in Finland. And for instance, in Slush last fall, well, we had you know Prime Minister Katainen opening the opening the conference, and there was two other ministers present. And a Swede, a Swedish entrepreneur, came to me and said that we could never have this in yeah, Sweden. Now, now we're doing uh, it in Finland. Yeah, and it only took two years. Yeah. Uh, that's something that's really cool about you know yeah. this country. That's such a small country that we're able to move yeah. fast. I think this startup ecosystem is partially overhyped now, saying that the Finnish. Um, ecosystem would be kind of a better compared to Chinese or Indian or, or US. That's not true. Uh, it might be that we have certain core competencies in this country, which might relate to our, um, let's say, mobile or technical skills or certain industry expertise, which we've been able to gain over time. I think the gaming cluster is a good example of that. But eventually what comes is really your ability to commercialize and build your position in the overall um, global competition. And in that respect, I don't think the Finnish or Scandinavian companies have been that extraordinary. So let's be honest, I think we have a lot of to ca catch up as well. But also I think that there's something uh, that the mindset has been so much steered towards. You know, I, I'm a st smart student, I go to the best university study, study my top three options are are Nokia, McKinsey, McKinsey or going to London to work for an investment bank or something. And that mindset has been broken very much. So there's like this fourth alternative rising up that exactly. maybe I go work for something that, you know, that's not an established company yet, but I think this is going to be interesting. Yeah. It is a lot of about hype and the reason why we also need hype is the fact that the hype uh, attracts investors and seed investors and venture capital investors and when you attract venture capital investors you also in, uh, attract talent and it's a kind of a positive spin. <laughs>